Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game. Paper Mario, the Origami King. And this is definitely going to be the final episode. No more breaks. Let's do this. Uh, uh, you surpassed the power of my superior folded paper. Brother, are you okay? You must be exhausted. Using even one filamental form can be... Shut it! I don't need your pity. I folded you so we could turn this flat world into an origami kingdom. But you betrayed me and allied yourself with these paper peasants. Don't you see, or Olivia? We're both origami. Why are you fighting me? Ollie? We are origami, but this isn't what we were made for. We both started as simple sheets, but we had souls folded into us. We were made with love. Love of art, love of creation, love for life itself. That's what origami is all about. We should be friends with all paper beings. If there's love in our hearts... You're lecturing me about love. Was there love in the heart of that paper toad who scribbled all over me? We're nothing like that flat, flimsy fool. We were folded for greatness. I should have known you wouldn't understand. How could you? I made you too perfect. Too pure. That's a mistake I'll soon correct. Here, Olivia, let me show you the true power of origami. He's ruining out! He... he just keeps unfolding! What's happening? What do we do? Bye, Toads! Thanks for watching! Enjoy death! <laughs> Are they Alimus Prime is online. <laughs> Look around you, Olivia. I'm folding the very fabric of reality. Origami embodies the limitless power of transformation. With this power, I shall rid the world of all pathetic paper-thin beings. You think we're gonna roll over just because you puffed up your chest and got all weird looking? I've had enough of you and your bad haircut. It's go time. Bowser, wait! That was a very, uh, intimidating speech, but he's too powerful here. He'll crumple you for sure. Ollie was right. This place is made of pure origami power. It strengthened him so it could strengthen you too. Let me fold you! Uh... Consent is needed! <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool looking. I want an origami Bowser. <laughs> I love it. Nice work, origami girl. Okay, I'm gonna show this paper pusher how a real final boss fights. Uh, that's, that's the least intimidating shuffle I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, uh, this guy's tougher than he looks. I might need some backup. Whoa, where did all these magic circles come from? Let's use these. If we slam the ground with a thousand full arms, we can give Bowser an advantage. When Bowser nears the magic circle, run behind him and use it to summon the thousand fold arms. If Bowser shifts to a different spot, press B to cancel your attack and switch magic circles. Okay. It's 
smash, 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 smash. Huh? The magic circle vanished. I guess they don't last very long. Do you ever stop meddling? These should keep you busy. Quick time! Ow, ow. I did not jump. Go Bowser! Go Bowser! I'm helping you, buddy! How am I supposed to dodge both of those? Ow! Can I heal? I can't even heal. I'm working on it. Gotta go to the magic circle. Bowser, hold still. Ow! Wait, maybe I smashed them? I don't know. Oh god, how am I supposed to get there? Okay, good. There is healing on the floor. Alright, that time I dodged. That time I dodged. Oh, I can smash them! I can bounce off them. That's what I can do. Working on it. Working on it. Working on it. Go, Bowser. Go, 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 go. Ah, that's what I do. No, don't throw confetti. Push, 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 push. Trying to get there, man. Trying to get there. I didn't need you to shift right the last second. Really help if if you stopped moving. Gotta get to the circle, gotta get here, gotta get here, gotta do it, gotta do it. Go 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 I will not be beaten by this bouncing blow hard to me, my folded soldier. Whoa! A big angry face? Where did that thing come from? We better act fast. Slam the ground as many times as you can before it falls and crushes us. Must smash, must smash, must smash, must smash. Got it. <laughs> you just got beat by a paper powerhouse. Eat gravity, you jerk. Bye. Curse you. <laughs> Bowser rules. I can't believe it. I know there is goodness in him, but Ollie chose to hate flat paper beings to the bitter end. Goodbye, brother. I hope we meet again someday. Uh, not like this. Bye, Bowser. I will not allow this. I will crush you. All of you. Oh no! My brother's way too big. We can't stop him like this. Oh wait! That origami craftsman gave me something special before he left his workshop. It's time to use it. That's a big magic circle. 
Another magic circle. Pathetic. What do you hope to do? Slap my wrist with those feeble arms of yours? Unfortunately, he scrambled it. Oh, come on! He jumbled up our magic circle. Could he fight fair for like two seconds? My anger, my rage, it's turned into a deadly poison rising up from below. You'd better act fast. If that gas reaches this platform, it will be the end of you. <laughs> Hurry, Mario! We have to fix this jumbo-sized magic circle as fast as we can! Okay, well, here's the thing. White and blue are opposite each other. Now take this. And you also have to deal with quick time events. Such insolence. So the trick is to get the colors on the right sides first. Green and red are also opposite each other. So now that we did that, let's wait for the next thing. Very well. You dodged? Now, we can rotate things. Maybe. If we could get like a few seconds. No escape. Ouch. Pathetic. And game over. Please don't tell me I gotta start all the way back at the beginning. Try again. Okay, thank you. Alright, so green and red are gonna be opposite each other and so does white and blue. And then we have to get the shapes proper. While well, we're being interrupted pretty much constantly. Do green on bottom and red on top and then rotate that around. I think I'd put it exactly backwards the before. Now we got it. This should be right. One more rotate. I got smushed. I will not surrender. Never give up. Never surrender. You think I'll allow this? I'll make this magic circle as useless as scrap paper. Too slow! <laughs> no, 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 I'll scramble the sigil over and over until you admit defeat! God damn it! Two seconds to do this. Too soon. And we're dead.
I <laughs> like how Mario just shrugs. Oh well, you screwed up. Death. <laughs> Alright, so we got a feel for it. We just need to like try to do the dodge properly. That's gonna be the hard part. At least we don't have to start the entire battle over. Thank you. Good game design. Good game design. Cannons! Too soon. Ouch. Never give up, never surrender. Mario taught me that. Mash, 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 mash! Got it! Y you! Mario's turn! Let's do this, Olivia. Magic circle on. Oh my gosh! Mario! Oh, oh my gosh, you did it, Mario! We can finally use the magic circle. The origami craftsman gave me one final folding technique, and it's our only chance of stopping Ollie. Senses. Time to settle this. Consider it settled, bitch. I'm sorry, brother. I had no choice. Oh, but your poor body, body is all crumpled now. Maybe I went too far. No, Olivia. That hammer attack was divine. You put everything into it, and it was enough to awaken me from this dark dream. I was too proud, too entitled. My heart was blinced, my path was creased. I was a mess. Wait, what's this on your belly? Oh, <clears throat> <clears throat> it hurts to move. But that is the cause of all this madness. That careless scrawl that Toad marked me with. Read it for me, will you? I must know what is written there. What words or gibberish mark this foolish body? Please, I, I could use one last laugh. Oh, okay, um, let's see. Dearest Ollie, may you grow into a fair and kind king. It's not just a scribble. It's a very sweet message from the origami craftsman. He just wished you the best as a new king. <laughs> oh, 
I've been a terrible king. To think this is how I repaid his kindness. I just became so blinded by rage. I did so many unforgivable things. I'm so sorry that Princess Peach and Mario became caught up in all this. Olivia, there's something you must do for me. Please accept these 999 cranes, and then fold my body into the 1,000th. When the last fold is complete, you will gain the ability to have any wish granted. I don't suppose it'll make up for everything I've done, but it's all I have left. I'm begging you, Olivia. Do this for me. Brother! Mario, I... I have something to confess. I don't know how to fold a crane. Maybe Ollie could have taught me? After all, he folded the whole castle and even me! But look at him now. Oh god! Hi, Luigi, so that's what happened to you. And Bowser Jr. and Kamek. Hey guys, I hope I didn't miss too much. I found Origami Grassman. Maybe he can talk Ollie out of all this nonsense, right? Because he's the one who originally folded him. Ah, yes. I remember this paper well. Such a lovely royal purple. And Olivia, so good to see you making use of the giant hammer technique I folded into your design. Wait, there are an awful lot of cranes here. Is one of you attempting the Forbidden 1000 crane technique? Yes, but I promise I won't use it for evil. Can you teach me how to fold the last crane? I want to fulfill my brother's final wish and complete the thousandth crane myself. Very well, I will teach you. I suppose all of this trouble is my fault, in a way. After all, I was the one who originally folded your brother. This will be my last fold of life then. Olivia, prepare to fold as you have never folded before. Well done. With that, the technique is complete. You may make your wish, Olivia. Okay. My wish... My wish... Thousandth Crane, grant me my wish. May all of the origami folded by my brother be undone.
My goodness, what are we all doing here? Princess Peach, you're back to your old self, wahoo! Wait, we're missing someone. Where's Olivia? Olivia was folded by her brother. She was undone. I'm so happy that everything is back to normal. Totown is bustling with an origami festival. Everyone is discovering the magic of origami and having fun. Mario, Peach, come take a look. My masterpiece is finally finished. You see, it's a miniaturized origami castle just like the one Ollie made. Mario, are you thinking about the origami girl who saved me? She was so brave to do what she did. We owe her everything. I just know she's with us in spirit. I wish I could thank her. Gather around everyone, it's time for the big finale. To all the origami, thank you. That's it, that's Paper Mario, the Origami King. This was a fun game. It it wasn't a traditional Paper Mario game, and honestly, there are a lot of people who still want to return to the Thousand Year Door, or at least Super Paper Mario. And there are some people who think that Paper Mario as a series is too obsessed with the concept of paper, Mario being paper, like, and you had stickers, you had pe color splash where um, they were draining the color, and then you had this one where they were folding paper. And I can kind of see that point of view. It, it, you have to wonder, like, if they continue down this path, what are they going to do next? What papery thing can they do? But overall, I really enjoyed this game. Yes, it's not a traditional Paper Mario game. It was a lot of fun to play. It was beautiful. Oh my god, it was such a gorgeous game. The music was amazing. And it corrected a lot of missteps from Sticker Star. Not all of them, but you could tell that they were trying. The characters had a lot more personality. Bowser and his minions were given writing, which always brings out their personality quite a bit. And Bowser's one of the best personalities. Even though the Toads were the primary people that you encounter, like, 
you don't see the number of races that you did from Thousand Year Door. It's like toads, toads, toads. They were still unique and well written, and, and the humor of the game shines through. I do wish that there had been more of a part a <clears throat> partner system. I really do miss using partner abilities to get through the world. That was always my favorite part of Thousand Year Door and Paper Mario was the fact that they had set puzzles up so that you needed partners to solve them. And there are a number of games like Bug Fables keeps being brought up. I want to say that actually South Park, surprisingly, does a pretty decent job of a partner system that gives you abilities to get through puzzles in the game. So that is something that I miss. I wish they would bring that back. But at least they tried to bring a partner along for personality for at least a few chapters. Like, it looked like they recognized that that's something that people wanted and like, okay, we want to give you what you want, but we also kind of want to evolve from that. And I am kind of curious to see what the next evolution is going to be. I haven't been this interested in the Paper Mario series since Sticker Star. Like, I do have a passing interest in Color Splash, I probably will be doing that. But Sticker Star really kind of burned me and a lot of people out on Paper Mario. That's why they call it Sticker Scars. But, you know, this kind of- this was a refreshing game to play. And I want to see where they go from there. So, anyways. How much more time do I have to talk? Okay. I will be doing the post-game stuff, look for that, look for me doing the trophies, I'll give you trophy videos, and we will be playing Ollie again and going for the true ending. But as for now, we're done. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.